So I guess I'm kind of firing these out as they come. This was quite an interview that uh, Julie, I shouldn't say an interview, but uh, I guess a joint uh, live stream that Dave and Julie did. This is how you can know for certain that these false prophets, these false teachers don't want you to check them. They go against the word of God. Listen to this clip. And one of the things that I will say, and I will agree with you on that, stop saying, and this is not to you, but to the people watching, don't say anything negative about people and especially who are called by God. Yep. I don't care your feelings for that person, especially on social media or any type of platform. Don't call out a pastor. Do not call out a child of God who is a prophet or anybody else. God is a judge over all the earth. God will judge those people. Unless he says it, I'm telling you, God does not say, I want my child, this child here, and I want you to call out that child over there. He doesn't do that. Not like that. So to be very careful when you are talking against uh, God's people, because I've seen too much of that in this last couple of weeks, and it has really burdened my heart. Because we're supposed to be a body together. I don't care what you believe about somebody. I don't care what you think that they they believe this about their religion and they believe this. Who cares? Stop with the doctrine. Stop with all that stuff. And let's just be as one as the body of Christ because of too many times we're falling for the lies of the enemy. And then all of a sudden... All right. Did you catch that? And that's always, always a red flag when they bring that up. Let me play we that believe again. It. Well, that person, you think that they, they believe this about their religion and they believe this. Who cares? Stop with the doctrines. Stop. Stop with the doctrines. So many times these false prophets will come out and, you know, uh, downplay the importance of doctrine. And they don't like being called out and they don't want you to call, uh, call them out. And, uh, but make no mistake, this is an attack on the doctrine of Jesus Christ. How important is doctrine? It is everything. If you go to 2 John chapter 1, look what it says in verse 9. Whosoever transgresseth and abideth not in the doctrine of Christ hath not God. He that abideth in the doctrine of Christ, he hath both the Father and the Son. Abiding in doctrine is everything. In Galatians chapter 1, look what it says in starting in verse 8. But though we or an angel from heaven preach any other gospel unto you than that which we have preached unto you, let him be accursed. Even repeats it again in verse 9. So again, doctrine is everything. If you go to the book of Jeremiah, because remember, Julie said, don't call anybody out, she said. It just the important thing, we're all in the body of Christ. No, no, no. Look what Jeremiah, through his prophecies, woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pastures, saith the Lord. Should Jeremiah ignore God's prophecy? Was Jeremiah bad for calling out Israel when they were doing such horrible things through their false prophets and their false pastors? In 2 Corinthians chapter 11, Paul warns us about false apostles, deceitful workers, transforming themselves into the apostles of Christ, and no marvel for Satan himself is transformed. Was Paul wrong for this? He was warning the people, and I may as well do this in real time. If we go to Matthew chapter 23 this entire chapter is our lord and savior jesus christ publicly publicly calling out the hypocritical pharisees and the sadducees and all the scribes who were teaching false doctrines he called them i think just in this one chapter he called them hypocrites seven times in this one chapter he called them snakes vipers children of hell are they, were, I'm sorry, was Jesus wrong for doing that, Julie? In the book of 2 Timothy chapter 4, look what it says. For the time will come when they, when they will not endure what? Sound doctrine. Well, when you've got teachers like Julie, 
telling you, don't worry about doctrines. Don't pay attention to doctrines. That's not the concern. We just have to stand together. Well, that's ecumenical, right? So she is in stark contrast to what the Word of God says. Let me finish this. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lusts shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears, and they shall turn their away their ears from the truth. Why do you think Julie's followers are turning their ears away from the truth of doctrine? Because that's what she's teaching. It is unreal. So again, just documenting this. This was quite a buffet of blasphemy on this particular live stream. And Dave just sits there, yup, I agree with whatever you say, Julie. Julie says, my feelings are hurt. I've been taking a beating on social media. But the important thing is that we all love each other. Don't pay attention to that pesky old doctrine. My goodness, what a time we're in. And finally, I'll close this video with this verse from Ephesians chapter 5. Let's start with verse 11. Have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. Now, the Greek word for reprove there is called eleko, and it means to convict, to refute, generally with a suggestion of shame of the person convicted, to bring to light. So if you, as a Christian, come across unfruitful works, which would, by the way, include false doctrine, you expose it, expose it, and warn the people who may be seduced and lied to by the likes of people like Julie Green. Unbelievable to, to watch this play out in real time as these false prophets, these false teachers who have such a reach influencing hundreds of thousands and millions of people don't pay attention to doctrine. Are you kidding me? Doctrine is everything, and the Lord told us it was, warning us over and over again. 